Hello viewer, welcome to my channel. This is my third video of this short series. You will find previous two video link in this video description. In this video, I'm going to show you basic CRUD operation of a student object after login. So let's see what will be the output of my today's video. This is my student table. Currently it's empty. After running my project, username and password currently this list is empty click add new student here I'm gonna give a student name here save save successful here it is let's check our DV done same as to save and then click on edit button Russell Ahmed save successfully save after click on delete button there it is so this is my today's video's output so let's start let's see some point this is my database and this is my student table and i created a store procedure for CRAD operation on a student object you will find this store procedure in video description. And this is the API project using SP.NET Core Web API with JWT authentication. You will find this API authentication tutorial in my past video of this series let's open a student repository here i create some interface for a student CRUD operation this one will do a save or update this one is for getting an individual student by student id and this one is for deleting a single student and this is the definition or implementation of those interface this one is for delete This one is for get a student by student ID. And this one is for save or update. Just like user save operation. This one is for store procedure parameters. Okay. And in a student controller. This one is for authentication. This API is for saving a student. This one is for get a student by ID and another one is for deleting an individual student by ID. Let's open our interface. This is the Vue.js3 project that I created in my second video of this series. Let's run this project first. npm run serve let's run our api project click on this url password one two three So currently there is no student into our student table. Now I am going to start our Vue.js3 frontend part. First I am going to take new file which is student.js3 
Tranquilo. Template. Div. Script. No need. And then style. Open router. Student. 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 And I will pass parameter here. Student name and component name will be a student. Okay, done. Okay, done. Open dashboard. Another column for action. Here it is. Two button, one for edit and another for delete. This is the edit edit student method and delete student method. And here I'm gonna take a add new student button. This one. And then student id as parameter this router push component name is student and parameter is student id same as I'm going to create delete student method here. Also take a student ID as parameter. Using Axios. This is the delete operation of a student. Passing a student ID and this is authentication token. And then after I click on Add new student button. Add student method will call. At this time, student ID will be zero. Okay, done. Let's open our student dot view page. Layout page title will be student and for that we have to define our component components layout this is our input field for taking a student name this one is for role and this one is safe action in data we will take return student object student name role and student id methods This method will get a student information by a student ID. This is our authentication token. So we need this method here. This one, passing it by headers. And we need a method for save this student. By clicking on 
save method. This one. It also need passing authentication token. And you can see I use a method for check validation that is student name or role given or not for that this one here we have to import some libraries layout axios and suite alert let's call these methods if a student id is greater than zero this one is my parameter name then it will call this method which is get a student by a student id let's run our project click on this link username password sign in this is my dashboard currently there is no student click on it here it is here you can see id is zero shakib one save save successful open our dv execute sql here it is i'm going to add two more student here Russell to save Rohit save okay done I'm going to edit I'm going to edit Rohit Sharma role will be double three double three and then click on save button here it is the okay, update is working now i'm going to delete russell so how we can do it just click on this delete button it's working execute it done thanks for watching if you like this video then please like comment and share and obviously subscribe my channel for new video tutorials. Thank you.